So then we have the transformer. And the transformer says 24 volts, 1 amp. And I'm not sure if that's rated or if that's what the manufacturers have put on or the manufacturer or the people that uh, put this thing together. I don't know if they've stuck that on. I don't know. But it's clear that it's a 24 volt transformer and uh, it may be rated at 1 amp. I would imagine or I'd hope that it's actually rated for more than 1 amp. Um, because if somebody was continually using it at 1 amp and it's only rated for 1 amp, you know. That's, that's not brilliant, is it? You would have thought they would be rated for a little bit more. But anyway, um, then we have another capacitor down there. And, oh, I've just missed a step, actually. We've got these switching uh, transistors or MOSFETs. So they're there as well. So there will be some sort of, um, some sort of little circuit that controls the switching. And uh, I can't actually see what those what those chips are. Um, let's see if I can find out. No, I can't. And I'm not really willing to touch this thing. Um, but there'll be the switching transistors or MOSFETs and that'll be controlling the switching from this. And then the output is um, here. So here we've got normal DC uh, filtering capacitors and these are rated 35 volts which, uh, which I'm happy about that. 35 volts. That sounds about right to me. And um, we have a transistor over here and an LED, some some more resistors, and um, something else in there, which I'll try and find out what that is. Oops. That. What's that in there? Hmm. I don't actually know what that is, but wonder if it's a thermal a thermal cutout of some sort. I don't know. If anyone knows what that is, let me know. Um, and um, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Where, so where's this one going? Where's this earth or ground going? I assume that's just tying all the negatives together. Um, I don't think it'll be tying neutral to it. I don't think so, but I don't really know. And then we've got voltage minus and voltage plus, which are those two, which that's oh, common sense. That'll be, yep, yeah, that's minus and that's plus. And then we've got this little output thing, um, and that will be a simple variable resistor with some other resistors forming some sort of, uh, well, control signal. Um, so, yeah. So let's put this thing back together now, and I'll give it a test out, and we'll see what happens. To start with, um, I've got this cable here, and a plug on it, and the other end is cut ready to use. So I'm going to twist those. like that and let's put them in place so by the way uh, a bit of a disclaimer you need to be extremely careful with this because um, depending on the wiring in your house you could kill yourself if you don't do this properly so of course I've not got this plugged in you can see it there so live in there and neutral in there if they'll go in are they gonna go in yeah there we go and let's just tighten that up. And the live. So I'm not sure about the standards of other countries, but in the UK, brown is live and blue is neutral. I suppose maybe they're similar in other countries. I don't really know. Um, so I've got that, and now my plug. What I need to do in here is make sure that I've got a low value fuse because if there's a 13 amp fuse in here which there usually is I'll need to change it because I can't allow 13 amps to pass through this thing and it is a 13 amp fuse so I'll just have to get another fuse hang on a minute okay it's done um, I couldn't find an extremely low value fuses so I've put a 3 amp fuse in it 
and that's still too much because 220 volts multiplied by 3 amps is 660 watts and this should never ever ever be pulling 660 watts and I know that because 24 volts multiplied by 1 amp is 24 watts so this fuse is no good but um, it's all I can do for the time being so um, the next thing I need to do is get my voltmeter so I'll just zoom this out for a bit okay so next um, there's actually a pin here or whatever it's called a connector of some sort for earth and really I should be connecting earth too but it just happened that this wire doesn't have an earth pin an earth wire in it it's just a two two core thing so um, you should use an earth because this case is metal so potentially if something went wrong inside this case and um, for whatever reason the case became live and I touched it I'd be in trouble so um, yeah I should really earth it but um, I'm not going to be touching it and I'm not going to be using this really I'm just testing it so um, right what I'm going to do is I'll just bring this in into the scene right okay so now it's time to turn this on and I'm just going to step a meter or so away just in case there are any nasty surprises um, and what I hope to find is that it will immediately start reading 24 volts and it does so it's on now um, so it reads 24.1 volts right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to this V out adjustment with my screwdriver and I'm just going to fiddle with it slightly and what should happen is that the voltage down the output should change and it has so it's 20 volts now and now uh, should be able to go to 28 then I assume 27.6 so that's quite interesting so I'll just put it back now to 24 it's extremely sensitive okay 24.2 that'll do or 24.3 um, okay so I'm going to show you where I bought this thing from now um, but just before I do there's a word of warning um, I don't encourage you to do what I've just done um, and the reason being is this is really dangerous because if anything is to short any of those two pins together you've got major problems and um, yeah um, it's not a good idea and if you were to touch any of these pins even by accident um, you could be in big trouble so um, yeah don't do that um, I'm just going to switch this off now anyway okay and that's interesting look the voltage is dropping now that's because there'll be a capacitor in there which is still holding its voltage for some time after it's switched off so that's interesting anyway I'll show you the listing okay so here's the auction it says AC 100 to 240 volts to DC 24 volts 1 amp lighting transformer switch high quality safety driver and um, so it says a lighting transformer which of course it's not a lighting transformer it's just a transformer but anyway 93p I know it's an auction so 93p free postage that's stupid but anyway free postage from Shenzhen in China oh there's another thing about this actually this arrived in a week or less um, I think it's about six or seven days something like that which is also remarkable especially considering the price um, so there we go uh, seller is TP Sewn, or is it TPS1 or something like that? Um, so let's have a quick look, see if there are any details. Uh, efficiency 85%. Uh, let's go down. What's this? Um, okay, there's a load of blank space and loads of bullet points. Let's go down. Surely there's something down here. Ah, there we go. So. Uh, a picture of it, or a couple of pictures. Ah, oh, here we go. Cold start DC 24 adjustment range. So that variable resistor that we were, up, or I was playing with earlier, that should change the range by two percent. So that's interesting. 
24 watts, yeah, because 1 multiplied by 24 is 24. And what else does it say? Uh, nothing that interests me too much. So there you go. Um, so, as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.